So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk about parenting. Object parenting, that is, of course. And basically, if each of these squares is a different enemy, so we have two greens, a red, and a blue, and these are the enemies that you'll face in the game. Well, we want them all to be different. We have red enemies, they might be really fast. And we might have green enemies, they do lots of damage. And blue enemies, they've got lots of health or something. They're all different types of enemies, basically. You wouldn't have a game where all the enemies are exactly the same. Well, you might. But usually you wouldn't want that. So you want different types of enemies. So, naturally, in the different object things here, we'd want to create different events and different actions, and we'd want to create different coding to have them all do individual separate things. And that's the way you'd want it to go. However, you can set a parent. And a parent is if, for example, you wanted to set a general rule to these objects. So, let's, for example, think about our objects here. They all have health, and they all can take damage. They all can die if they lose their health. So, they all have similarities. So, we want to avoid having to type that in different times, each for every enemy. So, we don't want to say, okay, Object Red has a condition whereby if it's hit with a bullet, its health goes down by one, and Object Blue has a condition where if it gets hit with a bullet, its health goes down by one, and Object Green has a condition where if it gets hit with a bullet, its health goes down by one. No, that can take quite a bit of time. So what we want to do is we want to set a parent. So what we do is we create an object, and let's just call this Object Square Parent. And all we want to do here is we want to set up the general rules that our our square enemies... I mean, they don't have to be enemies, I'm just using that as an example. So what general rules do we have? Well, we don't want them all to have the same amount of health. We might want one of them to have more health than the others, and we might want other ones to die really quickly. So we're not going to declare the health in this parent. But what we are going to do is we are going to make it so that if it has full health... It can't go any higher than that. So, like with the general control object, we want to create a step command. We'll have step, and we will have it so we bring some code in here. And the general rule is, if uh, health is greater, th greater than their max health, then their health equals their max health. And that's the general rule. You know, it, you don't want your enemies to be able to get more health than what their max is. Some enemies might be able to cure themselves, and some enemies might be able to cure other enemies, for example. So you want to have this rule in place. So now, we click OK, and you would have other rules. For example, you'd have the rule of, if it runs out of health, the object is destroyed, and you would have other rules like... It can't go through a wall. You'd have different pieces of code. Not ones that I'm going to go into full detail explaining, but just to give you an idea, there are things that you don't want things... You want to set limits and you want to set general rules for all these enemies here. So, okay, we have the square parent. And now, object red, we can give that some health. So, a red object, its health will be equal to, say... 40, but let's say that this is an enemy that heals itself, and it doesn't start fully healed. So you want to make its max health equal to 70. So now it starts damaged somewhat, and it can heal itself. So we have that. So how are we going to get that rule from the parent? Well, what we do is we simply go over to parent here, and we choose object square parent. So now what that means is that all of the coding that's in object square parent is passed over into object red. And that's really simple. So say we finish with red and we want to change blue and we want to make blue a really powerful enemy. We want to give it lots of health. So this one, its health is equal to 150, but it starts maxed out. Its max health is also 150, so it can't cure itself further than what it starts at. Well, we've got those two variables in place, and now, if I want to set in all the rules from the parent, I should go parent, da da da, 
object square parent. And this is especially useful if, for example, you have this parent object here and you have a whole list of different rules that you want all the enemies to have. It's easy just to then copy in all the rules between each of these objects just by declaring what its parent is. The best way to think about it is that the child inherits the trait of the parent.